Hello, this is Mrs. Howard, and today we're going to take a look at an energy transfer system, and we're going to write a claim evidence reasoning report based on some investigation that we're going to do. In this investigation, you're going to be given the claim, and the claim is that when the kinetic energy of an object changes, energy is transferred to or from that object. This is what we need to prove. In order to prove that, we need evidence. To collect our evidence, we're going to focus on a wind turbine system. You may have seen one of these before. People often refer to them as windmills, but they're actually wind turbines. And what they do is they convert the wind energy into clean electricity. When the wind spins the turbine's blades, a rotor captures the energy of the wind and converts it into rotary motion that drives the generator, which then creates electricity. In our investigation today, we're going to look at an animation of a wind turbine system and collect some data. But first, it's important to recognize the kinds of energy that are in one of these systems. To do that, at the bottom of your page, you'll see an energy diagram. Go ahead and consider what kind of energy wind represents, what kind of energy the movement of the turbine represents, and then finally, what kind of energy is created by the generator, and list them in these three boxes. Then you'll have a better diagram of the energy transfer. Did you list kinetic energy for the wind, and kinetic energy also for the wind turbine? You might have some other heat energy as the turbine spins. And then finally, for the generator, this is definitely generating electrical energy. It's important to have these correct before we can move forward. Once we've identified the kind of energy in this wind turbine system, we can go ahead and move on over to the simulation side of the page. To get started, you're just going to click on the link that says Simulation. Here we have an introduction talking about the efficiency of a wind turbine, and it has an animation that's going to tell you a little bit more about how a wind turbine works. Go ahead and watch the rest of it. When you're finished, you'll see this screen, and then you can just click Go to Sim. When you open the simulator, you'll see a wind turbine operating. And your notebook page is going to show you the different things that you need to pay attention to in order to do your investigation. On the left side of your screen, you're going to see propeller diameter. It doesn't matter what you set your diameter at, just make sure it stays the same throughout the entire investigation. A good investigation keeps the variables controlled. The next thing is the conversion efficiency. Same with the propeller diameter, we want to control this variable. It just needs to remain the same throughout the entire investigation. Finally, we have wind speed. This is what we're going to change. And each time we change the wind speed, we're going to click right here to take a look at how the electrical power output changes. So in my sample here, I've set my wind speed at 5 meters per second. And I can see that my electrical power output has changed to 0 0.3. Now that we've collected our first piece of data, we can go back to our notebook page and enter the wind speed as 5 meters per second and the electrical power as 0.3 megawatts. Continue collecting data by changing the wind speed to 10 meters per second and viewing the electrical power output and add that to your chart. Continue that process until you've filled up all of the spots for the wind speed as well as the electrical power output. Once you've collected all of your data, you're ready to move on to a claim evidence reasoning report. We're first going to start with a claim. A claim is a statement that describes what theory you have as a result of your investigation. In the case of our wind turbine investigation, our claim is that when the kinetic energy of an object changes, energy is transferred to or from that object. So we're going to add that claim in the claim section of our sheet. Be sure you use one of the sentence starters to help you and make your language flow more smoothly. Next, we need to provide the evidence that we collected to support our claim. An evidence is a report of the qualitative or quantitative data and observations you collected. In our experiment, we collected quantitative data on how fast the wind speed needed to be in order to generate power output. And if we put that in terms that fit our claim, we can see that if we increase the kinetic energy, the wind, we saw an increase in electrical energy, electrical power. You'll need to report all of this evidence in the evidence section on your page. Make sure you report your evidence in full sentences and use some of these sentence starters to help you make your sentences flow. 
The last thing we're adding to our CER report is the reasoning. And reasoning is the explanation why you believe your theory to be true. They sound like summary statements. So we're going to report how our evidence from our investigation shows us that when the kinetic energy of an object changes, it transfers energy to another object. Use these sentence starters to help you write your reasoning. Good luck as you investigate energy transfer.